Hi, hey, folks. Uh, we've had a few requests, haven't we? Oh yeah. A lot of you actually live on your own, and you want to know if an air fryer is any good for cooking ready-made meals, baby. So we went down to where did we go to? Heron Foods. Heron Foods. Um, someone told me one of my subscribers. I can't remember who it was. I think it might have been Parknest actually. He said that Heron Foods is owned by B and M. I never do that. Anyway, you live and learn. But anyway, so we bought two meals here. We've got um, get what you fancy, and I fancied. What is it? Salt and pepper chicken noodles. Made by Mayflower there, folks. Yeah. And I went for Kershaw's chicken and start uh, chicken dinner with roast potatoes, carrots, peas, and stuffing. Now, as you can see on the box, it looks like quite a substantial meal, and uh, Sharon's one actually looks pretty substantial on the box as well. Let's take it out of the box and we'll show you. So as you can see there on the box, you don't really get a serving suggestion on there as such, but um, you can see it's made by Mayflower. They make the curry sauce, which we like, Sharon, don't they? They do. And they fa that's fantastic, isn't it? Yep. So let's have a look at the inside. It is a salt and pepper chicken noodles, as you can see. It's got quite a few bits of chicken in there. Uh, the, the noodles obviously are underneath, but I find with any Chinese dish, it's the sauce that makes it. Yeah. And we know they make a good sauce, so yeah. how much was this, can you remember? One pound 69. One pound 69. You can't grumble at that. No, so as you know, I've gone for this home dinner, which is by Kershaw's. Now, one of my subscribers said this is actually quite a tasty meal. Can you take it out of the box for me, baby? This come in at two pound. I have opened and uh, it comes in segmented trays there as you can see they both come frozen these meals by the way folks and uh, that's a serving suggestion on the uh, packet there as you can see and maybe we could rec recreate that on a, a plate we'll have to have a go be a little plate it is a little plate they, they normally are so our ninja has two trays as you know and uh, although this one will go in that's sharon's one that goes in there as you can see nice and easy probably advisable get your, your sheet of paper there shall your, your, your silver foil, your little trick you show us. Because it's pretty close, it's probably best, like Sharon showed us before, to lay it on a bit of silver foil like that and then drop it in for the ease of getting it out when it's hot. So that's what she's done there. But my one, folks, look. He didn't think, did he? It won't fit in there. Now, this is what I think quite a few people were asking, uh, the size of the trays on the, uh, the dual foodie, what we've got. And the tray size here. Oh, this is on the AF400. Yeah, this, this is our, our dual one. Well, if you actually take this tray out here, two if you measure this tray, that tells you the actual size. So this tray, I'll do it in the centimetres. Well, in fact, it's 20, call it 21 centimetres, or eight and a quarter inches, by six and three eighths, or 16 centimetres. So that's the size of the containers. And that one, as you know, goes in. This one, what buggers us up is the length of it. This thing is about 22 and a half centimetres long, although the width is fine. The width comes in at uh, 17 and a half inches, or just about seven inches. But we have been told by our daughter, who's got the Kasori, mm. the, the one with the large tray, which we reviewed uh, a couple of weeks back. Uh, that tray is 23 centimetres, which is about nine inches. And this thing, is just under nine inches. So this one would actually go into the Kasori, the one my daughter's got. You would have to put it in like that and lift it in and out like that because you couldn't get your fingers in there when it was hot to hook it out. But so we can cook this today in the air fryer, bearing in mind we've got two trays of ours, we're actually gonna take this one out and we're gonna put it on a plate and cook them individually because it is still frozen. So let's do that, baby. Right, so these little things we've got here is literally just made out of... This is like a strong foil tin foil, yeah. Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. So there are the weaker ones, the very cheap ones. This is quite a substantial one. And all Sharon does is fold it up into a strip, fold it over three times... There you go. And that's it. That's the job done. And that will then be able to lift a, a bowl in and out. These are our glass bowls which we lift out of our air fryer, folks, as you will. Now you get these from... Ikea, these Ikea. And the size of them ones, I think someone did ask one. We're measuring everything today, baby. I actually think they sell these in most, I think they do sell these in B&M. Right, that's 21 centimetres or eight and a quarter inches by, call it six inches or 15 centimetres. That's them. That? And the depth for them is, call it two inches, two and a quarter inches deep or... Just take this time. Uh, five and a half I centimetres. I just think it had it printed on the bottom, so I'm trying to look at it. I can't it, see you? that, Sharon. We can't see that. Maybe 20 years ago, 
And it's just number four. Anyway, right, so this one can go straight in. Now, unfortunately, no, I'm not... No, 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 you've got to prick it. Oh, no, baby, I'm just going to read out oh, and tell right. them about the cooking instructions. The cooking instructions, unfortunately, a lot of foods don't give you air fryers. So basically what we're looking at is uh, electric oven, it says 40 minutes on 200 degrees centigrade. But uh, it does say remove the uh, packaging and pierce the film several times. So are you going to leave the lid on the film on or what? Because that, it won't uh, brown then, will it or what? I don't know. They say I leave it on, but should we just take it off? What, in the oven? No, you pierce it then because it might splash everywhere, mightn't it? It's frozen, Sharon. But it won't be when it's cooking, will it? Well, we've cooked loads of stuff in there that don't, that don't splash. I think, you're, I think you're overthinking it, baby. No, you're overthinking it. I'll take it off. Take it off. Maybe it'll dry up. Well, a bit late now, isn't it? Well, learn my experiences. Yeah, I noticed my dinner's been sacrificed. Shell, mine's coming out of its container oh. full stop. So anyway, so we're going to put that in our number two tray on our air fryer and that will just go on for, well as I say, cook from frozen, they say 40 minutes. 20 minutes, we're half that, shall we? I'm going to try 12 minutes and see what happens. Right, well, we'll try. So this is what I say, when you do get an air fryer, folks, the times on the back of these things normally are not very, you've got to guess it basically, it's a guesstimate. I'm going to go 200 on air fry, 12 minutes. Right, minutes. get that in there, put it in there. Let's work on my one. So by putting the veg in there, I'm going to leave that in there because that might be a bit messy when I take it out. So all I'm going to do is cut it out. Yeah, there's always a way. There's always a way, baby. What's that face for? Just pull the face at me, I think yeah, you did there. Yeah, Yeah? That can go in now. Not quite. <laughs> well, I knew that. No, you did Yes, I knew because it was the lens. Of course it was. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm going to cut the ends off. Diagonal, Sharon. That was the answer. Diagonal, look. Tip it, tip the veg in there. In where? In there. Just tip the veg in there. And the potatoes. Just whack it all in there. Now put your container in diagonally. There you go. See, we're, 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 we're working on... No, you don't even need that in there, Sharon. You do, because it's got a... Laying on top, in fact, melted. That's fine. Oh, okay, we'll do it like that. That's fine. Okay, we do it like that. Go on then, whack it in. So, what are you going to whack it on at? I don't know, the same as mine? I'll say 12 minutes, 180. 12 right. minutes, that's, that's you. my one going. And your one, you're going to do uh, 12 minutes at 200. At 200. Oh, I like that. So, yeah, these cheaper meals, this meal cooked gives you apparently 272 calories, so it says here. And as I say, Kershaw's. Um, chicken dinner, someone did say that it's a, it's a nice meal, so if you're on a diet, I suppose, and you're calorie counting, it might, this sort of thing might appeal to you. And this one, which is Sharon's one. 400 grams. 400 grams. So this comes in 119 calories for 100 grams. So times that by four, so that's, that's 480, isn't it? Yeah. 475, oh, it's already worked out there. It's already on the box, folks, I didn't see it probably, did I? Dearie me. Hey, dearie, dearie you, baby. Oh, since you've turned a certain age now, because it was your birthday yesterday, you're getting a bit funny. No, I'm not. Right, we're going to wait for them to cook, folks. We'll see you in a minute. Come here, you beauty. Come here. Come on. Come on. What have you done? That noise you made from the backside. <laughs> hey? <laughs> what? I'll edit that out, Shaq, don't worry about it. Same thing, she's got a very warped sense of humour, folks. Unbelievable. I'm only human. <laughs> right, baby, they've just pinged, haven't they? They sure have. And we've put them on for an extra five minutes, didn't we? Yeah. So, here we go, let's have a look at my one first. We did stir it halfway, folks, so in total, these have been on for... 17. 17 minutes each, so, as you can see, it's lovely and melted there. As you can see, the temperature's there, up to 80 degrees, near enough. Just off of 80 degrees there, so I'm happy with that. And also the potatoes below, they're even higher. They're up to 89, 91 degrees. So everything's cooked, folks. In my one, and Sharon's one, we just, as I say, we stirred half, halfway. We might have um, maybe left the cover on, folks, because the top ones are just gone a little bit crispy. That doesn't matter, because it'll all mix in nicely. But Sharon's is done. 
and as you can see 78 80 degrees there absolutely no problems whatsoever there with the temperature so it looks like we struck gold the first time baby 17 minutes um 180 or 200 say I, 200 i had 200 yeah didn't I? Say so 200. two forks please on your way around so we're just going to plate these up now folks and then we'll come back to you right here they are folks we plated them up i've tried my hardest to make my one look like it did on the plate but um let's show you closely what they look like now this mayflower one actually although there's no serving suggestion on there they're just showing you a close-up of the food but that looks absolutely lovely sharon doesn't it and it smells really nice and it as does well. smell nice it smells really authentic that one my one here as you can see that looks lovely on there but the reality of it it's uh, slightly different, you could say. I tried to recreate that, but there's no way I could recreate it, to be honest with you. I found the smallest plate I could, um, but- uh, The next size is a saucer. The next size is, eh? Hey, the next size is a saucer, yeah. But the, the things to take away from this is that um, what we perhaps should have done was as I cut the compartment, don't forget this is a large one, you haven't got this problem with Sharon's one. As it was a segmented one, I perhaps should have cut the, uh, the actual segments up, left the, the, the cover on, because what's happened, in the air fryer, the, the peas, which are not really an air fryer product, are they, to heat up in there, they've actually dried out a bit. So if I had that plastic film on the top, that would have been fine, and I would have been able to stack them in there with the rack. But that's just lesson learned. The cooking of it cooked absolutely perfectly, and 17 that one said it was cooking in 40 minutes mm. in the oven for 40 minutes and what was your one again 40 minutes so that is literally half of the amount of time it takes you to cook them in an oven a conventional oven that is mm. and uh, i suppose we better have a go at eating them baby please prick the cling film though. yeah just i've got it. a few crispy noodles yeah all right go cool, on you go first then i'll have a taste with yours in a minute no, you won't <laughs> Well, there's nothing wrong with that, so that is really tasty. We had a Chinese last night as well, funny enough, from a proper Chinese takeaway, as opposed to one of these ready meals. And this was one pound sixty nine. You say, Sharon? Can I have a little go? I'll buy that again, definitely. Do you mind? Can I try a bit of Just everything? A bit. Let me go in. Oh. Got a kick to it. Tell you what, that is as good as a, a plate of noodles that you get out of a Chinese restaurant. I do love noodles. But that is absolutely. Uh, hold on, one more go. No, you chose roast. Oh, it's waiting. It's begging me to come. Come on, show. I take your options. I'm not the problem, man. That's on you. You've been terrorized. Right. This doesn't really look very appetising, but I'm going to give it a go. Do you want to try a bit? I love potato. And a bit Get the gravy. gravy. Little roasties. That's okay. Yeah. Someone said you get a stuffing ball on there as well. So I'm going to have a bit of everything, folks. I'm going to take a bit of that stuffing ball. I'm going to take a bit of chicken and a potato. Lace it with gravy. I'll have to hold on whole fire on the veg. I'm going in with this one, folks. Oh. 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 <laughs> that is not too bad. 272 calories in there. Trouble is, it'll go in no time. But as far as a tasty meal, let's taste this veg. As I say, we did bugger up because the peas went like bullets. It's okay. But next time, if we ever did do this again, I'll cover them up. I do like that stuffing. Have a go at that stuffing. Yeah. Cut a bit of that stuffing off. Come on, take that bit. Put the gravy on it. Have a go. Quite nice, isn't it? Mm. Do you want to try? Trouble with my mouth is it's got all the spices in it from this. Do you want to try a bit of chicken? No, you're okay. 
Well, I'm going in again, folks. I've never seen him have such a small dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get used to it. But for two pound, if, if it's a, like a pensioner or someone who don't really eat a lot, yeah. or your cat in the calories, it's not too bad. Presentation is not the greatest. It don't look like nothing on the box, but. So, can you cook ready meals in an air fryer? Yes, you can, said Dr. Builder. Half the time, which means you're saving energy as well, you've just got to stir it halfway through. Well, would you have to if you would left the cover on? Well, maybe not. Oh, you might shake. But you know, shake. you know what we like, Shout. It's so easy to just open that drawer, it stops counting. You might as well just give it a turn and have a look, mightn't you? If, if you haven't got a cover on it, I'm talking about. Shake it, basically. But do. that Chinese, that by Mayflower, folks. Check that out for £1.69. Get down here and buy some, it is so tasty. Heron Foods, didn't know it was owned by B&M, Parkness no. told me that. That is lovely and in fact we will check out their other Mayflower ranges. You can have a Chinese meal for next to nothing. Go and buy their sauces we buy. Where are they Chef? Top shelf. Top shelf. As you can see, the curry sauce, they do two strips of it. We've got boxes of it in here folks. They've got the... Uh, extra hot one which is that one there and the standard one which again is a lovely chip shop curry sauce that one so we get them and we always have them in stock and they take minutes to do we did a chicken curry with this fantastic check it out we could have a bit of chicken curry and you some noodles and rice Chow, if i would have known they were so bleating good i wouldn't have spent 70 quid at the chinese takeaway yesterday for all of us what i would have been down that? there buying boxes of that Quite true, yeah, because nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this one, folks. We'll be bringing you more some microwave meals and stuff I've like that. I've enjoyed it. But we definitely want to investigate these Mayflower ranges because that is superb. Yeah. Absolutely superb. Authentic Chinese takeaway. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Don't forget, if you do like our videos, check out our playlist and... Like and subscribe. And also, Sunday we do a, a, a weekly vlog, just a vlog of what we get up to during the week. And it's premiered at 8 o'clock in the evening on Sunday, UK time. And we're in the chat box, so you can talk to us live. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. I'll have that. No, you won't.